for scary black-eyed kid stories. Artlist in the heart of a quiet town, nestled amidst rolling hills and whispering woods, lurked tales of the eerie black-eyed kids. Legends spun from the threads of fear and uncertainty, whispered in hushed tones by those who claimed to have crossed paths with these chilling figures. Music licensing One dark autumn imagine. night, as the moon cast its silvery glow upon the cobblestone streets, Sarah found herself walking home alone. A chill danced along her spine as she passed beneath the flickering streetlights, and her heart quickened when she spotted two shadowy figures ahead. Their presence seemed to swallow the light around them, and as Sarah drew nearer, she caught sight of their eyes, deep pools of darkness that seemed to devour the very essence I of light. Help us, they whisper it, their voices like Icho's from a forgotten realm. But Sarah dared not linger. With a pounding heart, she quickened her pace, the Icho of their plea haunting her steps until she reached the sanctuary of her home. Another tale spoke Music of young Mark, whose innocence was shattered own. one fateful afternoon. While playing in his backyard, laughter bubbling on his lips, he caught sight of a lone figure peering at him from beyond the fence. The child's eyes were as dark as the depths of night, and an icy grip seized hold of Mark's heart. The figure beckoned him closer, Music but terror gripped Mark's soul, imagine. urging him to flee. With trembling limbs, he dashed inside, bolting the door behind him, yet unable to shake the feeling of those black eyes boring into his very being. Then there was Emily, whose family sought solace in the embrace of nature. Camping beneath the canopy of ancient trees, they thought themselves safe from the world's terrors. But as night fell and the fire's embers danced in the darkness, a group of shadowy figures emerged from the depths of the woods. Their eyes, like orbs of obsidian, watched Emily from the shadows, their silent presence suffocating the air. With trembling hands, Emily's family packed their belongings, abandoning the shelter of the forest, their hearts heavy with the weight of the unknown. And in the solitude of his home, Music Tom found himself facing a storm both outside just, and I within. Own. The night was fraught with thunder and lightning, a tempest raging against the fragile walls of his sanctuary. Amidst the chaos, a relentless knocking echoed through the halls, drawing Tom to the door. Peering through the peephole, he beheld two figures bathed in the flickering Music light of the storm, their eyes glinting with an otherworldly gleam. With a sense of dread coiling in his chest, Tom refused to yield to their silent plea, his resolve unwavering until the storm subsided and the darkness receded. The tales of the black-eyed kids lingered in the town's collective memory, whispered in the quiet of the night and woven into the fabric of its lore. And though time may pass and memories fade, the shadows of those encounters remained etched in the souls of those who dared to believe.